Everybody, this morning in the buzz, as we mentioned at the start of our show, mm -hmm. today is Ash Wednesday, the yes. start of Lent for many Christians. And usually at this time every year, we're talking about what we're giving up. That's right. Um, but at this point, haven't we given <laughs> up enough? I mean, really, I mean, we so many people well, have given up so many things. Now, we were just trying to figure out last year Lent fell on yeah, February 26th. Right. Bonnie was just Bonnie looked was that looking up. it up. Mm -hmm. So everything hadn't really happened. So last no. year's Ash Wednesday was basically was normal. was normal. People could right. go to mass if you wanted to and get ashes the regular way that we mm -hmm. always have. But this year it's so different. It's it is so different. Know. And and you mentioned, you know, a lot of people give something up. You can also do something right. for those 40 days. And maybe this year more than ever, people will feel more inclined to do something, whether it's on a personal level or you want to give back in some way, you know, you want to donate your time or maybe you're saying, hey, in these 40 days, I'm going to make connections with people that I haven't really kept mm -hmm. up with in, during that time. Yes. I think that's it for me. I think I want to just make sure that even I'm, if I'm just sending like a text or doing an extra FaceTime with some relatives that live across the country or even best friends that I just haven't physically seen in a while mm -hmm. just to maintain that connection. I know every time I reach out to them, it's a sign of a true friend, right? You can go a, a kind of a long period of time and we check back and you're both like, hey, listen, it's it's fine. Our right. relationship hasn't changed. Right. We're both busy and pulled in a different mm -hmm. direction. It's a pandemic right now, but I think maybe kind of maintaining those relationships, it's going to make me feel a lot better. It'll probably ease some stress and it'll, you know, provide some positivity. And maybe on the other end, too, maybe it'll be good right. for the receiving end. Or maybe you live some someplace and you know you have a neighbor, you know you have a friend who is Maybe they don't have family here. Maybe yeah. all the family is gone. Maybe it's an elderly neighbor who is, is by themselves. Mm -hmm. And first of all, they, they can't go out right now. Yep. They haven't been out. They're worried about how they're going to go to the market or get something. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, You know what the biggest thing that you could help them do? And I'm not even joking about this. The biggest thing you could help them do is if, they're, if they don't understand how to use a computer, and there are mm -hmm. a lot of elderly folks who may not have access to it or something like mm -hmm. that, if you could help them get access or make an appointment for a shot, so that they could get that taken care of, I bet that would be a giant relief yeah. for, a, for a lot of people because I that's think in the great. back of their mind, that's one of the things. If you could go out and just help someone, mm -hmm. especially now, I think that would go a long, long way. Yeah. If you want to give up something as well, but I think helping out your fellow human being would go a long, mm -hmm. long way right now. And hey, it, it props to you if this is your time to get rid of one of your vices. If mm -hmm. you are deciding that I'm going to quit smoking, I'm going to quit drinking, whatever it is for you because maybe during this pandemic you're reassessing things sure. and you want to just you know, take your, your life into a different direction, or maybe it's, you know, you want to just eat healthier, cut certain things out of your diet. I think this is the perfect time to, to do so. If you're using Lent as a quote unquote excuse to say, you know what, now's the time. Right. I've been talking about doing this for a right. while. Maybe now's the, the jumping off point, the starting point. I think that's great. I have given up things in the past, like junk food and whatnot. Yeah. And, I'm not going to do that this year. <laughs> I've always, well, I've, always been, I've always been in one of those like conundrums because on Fridays as a Catholic, it was, you're not supposed to have meat. Right. Well, I hate seafood. So oh. I was always like, oh my God, what peanut am I going to do? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly, what am I going to do? I, I, it, it was always that, it was at that point. And I'm like, yeah. and I always tried to make excuses in my head like, well, that's not really this. It's, mm -hmm. it's only a little. Cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. Something I could plain. have that too. Right, right. You know, do what you can. <laughs> hey, whatever you're doing, just try and, and continue it for right. the 40 days, right? Help do your best. Help somebody would be a good thing. Uh, Brendan, you've given up, oh, didn't you give up iced coffee in oh, the yes, past? Oh yes, that was a big one. That don't, is a sacrifice for you. Don't remind me, I've tried to block that out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a dark time not just for me but for everyone that had to deal yeah. with me right yeah uh, since we're all home a lot more we're spending time you know in our dwelling places if you will I'm giving up AOL instant messenger oh, okay. so wow. I think it's gonna put your away message up yes, for a away. long time I know I'm gonna have some great ones when I come back after right. the 40 <laughs> days right but you guys uh, as you always do made so many good points I mean just making a sacrifice doing something will like you said helping others it, it maybe it's not something you're going to do but maybe you're just making a change that's going to result mm -hmm. in something good for other people sure. definitely right that's why I'm not going to give up iced coffee again because <laughs> other people have a hard time dealing no with. one enjoyed that <laughs> well let's check in with our viewers to see what you guys had to say about this topic some great comments as always Sharon's up first she's I love this I have chosen to make two sacrifices I am giving up my wine and I am going to try to be nicer to people well good luck with that one Sharon that's going to be a challenge but I applaud the effort Ryan says he's giving up weighing myself for Lent what's the worst that can happen after 40 days we'll be sure to 
Keep us posted, Ryan. <laughs> Mark adds, similar to New Year's, trying to set an unrealistic goal for Lent is futile. In my own case, I abstain from eating meat on Ash Wednesday and every Friday during Lent. Good strategy, Mark. And lastly here, Jean Wiley Sadler wraps things up as only she can. I'm giving, all, uh, giving up all negative people I see on Facebook. Good strategy there. But then she adds, I love this caveat, not the road show, though. It is the one bright spot in my boring life. Well, we're happy to be that bright spot for you, Jean. Thank you very much. And thanks to everyone for chiming in. You know, people ask me all the time. They say, Will, how can I get my name on the road show? Well, just leave your comment on Facebook every morning. We go live with the buzz topic just before eight, but you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All three of those are easily found at the road show.